All right, so this is the video that I wanted to find on YouTube, but I did not find, unfortunately. It's about battery grips for your Fujifilm X-T3. Should you go ahead and spend 247 or 250 euros on the original one, or should you go and spend 89 euros, basically it's like a third, on the Mika one, a third-party battery grip that comes with a remote yeah you get a remote with this one so let's analyze a little bit the situation here 247 89 like do you really have to think about it <laughs> that's what I thought and I bought this one first and then I found out that the batteries that I had the third-party batteries that I had are not compatible and there are no compatible batteries for this one but the original Fujifilm batteries which is a pain in the ass because the original batteries are 55 euros a piece that makes you spend 110 euros so that you can use this battery grip you spent 110 euros plus 89 euros for this one basically you spent 200 200 euros so far there are pros and cons for both of them this one costs less, but you have to buy original Fuji batteries and it comes with a remote, which is good. This one is weather sealed and it's compatible with all batteries. And, you know, I'm gonna be honest here. This one feels cheap, smells cheap. Everything is cheap about it. You know, this one on the other hand feels like it's like, you know, an extension of the camera feels part of the camera when you touch it, when you feel it, everything, buttons, Everything feels more premium. Let me show you a little bit what's on the on these two here. As you can see, the buttons are more or less similar. Um, you have the the normal and boost selector here, which I don't know. I, I sometimes I think that this one is better, the Mika one. Sometimes I think that this one is better. You just get used to it. It's not a problem or anything like that. Um, buttons, as I said, these feel more premium, feels like they're part of the camera itself, you know? And when you touch everything, it, it feels different. You know? This is like totally different. This, this one feels good, feels good when you touch it. It has a grip to it, you know? It doesn't feel like you're gonna slip, but this one, it's better, you know? And the, the thing that annoys me the most about the Mika one, other than the fact that it's not compatible with other third-party batteries, is this piece here, the grip here. This one is pure plastic. And it's it doesn't have rubber on it, it's just plastic. And when you grip, when you take the camera in your hand, it will, it will slip. I, I, it feels like it's going to slip. On the other hand, when you when you grip this one, it feels a lot better. It feels like you're not gonna drop this, not in a hundred years. All right, so in conclusion, if you're looking to buy a better grip for your Fujifilm X-T3 and you already have third-party batteries, then I, sh I definitely suggest that you should go with the original one. It feels better in the hand. It, it's compatible with all third-party batteries and it's weather sealed, it, it generally feels better and uh, you know, I think over time it will, perf it will perform better. Um, and again, this part here is just makes a whole lot of difference because it feels like you will not drop this camera. It, it just grips. If on the other hand you already have Fujifilm batteries, then there's no brainer here. You will get the Mika one and you're gonna be happy with it. Or if you don't have any other batteries, you only have the battery that comes with the camera, then definitely should go for this one also. I mean, it's not bad. It feels cheap, of course, but you spend a third of the price of this one. So, I mean, it should feel cheap, but it performs well. I tried it, I shot in, uh, headshot session in studio. I shot some parkour uh, pictures with this one and it performs pretty well. Um, I actually prefer the nipple here, the, the 
<laughs> autofocus selector thingy. I call it the nipple. Okay, I actually prefer this one to this one, but other than that, yeah, this feels more premium. I think it's overpriced at 250 bucks, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, you, if you want to make money, you have to spend money, right? Yeah, that's been it for this time. I will see you in the next video. Bye.